Hey everybody, what's up y'all? Welcome back to my channel, Tammy Talks here. Let's talk apology tours. So as you guys can see on the screen here, Irina has issued an apology. <laughs> We're two weeks too late, but Irina has issued an apology, which is almost verbatim what Micah said just verbally. All right, so Irina took to her TikTok account, which is Irina Solo. Have it down there so y'all can go and watch it, follow her if you would like to. But she is apologizing for her behavior. Um, y'all know how I feel about Mike and Irina. I have already done a video about Micah's apology, so go ahead, check that out. I have also done recaps on every single episode of Love is Blind this season already, so check those out as well. I have a Love is Blind playlist. My, my issue with this is, one, it seems very insincere. I'm sorry. It seems very insincere. This is not genuine. You waited eight episodes. You waited two weeks to apologize for something that you did. Something that you stood 10 toes down on. Let's not forget that. When you talked to, was it Entertainment Weekly or E! News? You stood 10 toes down in that. And the, it was the whole, well, I was just young and it was this and things were funny and whatever the case. You weren't sorry. You weren't sorry. But you were getting dragged to and fro. To and fro. Dragged to and fro. So now you want to apologize. Have y'all checked it out? Let's talk about it and let's look, let's look at it down below. Let's go. Hi, I want to start off by saying um, sorry that this video is a little delayed. I really wanted to take some time to process everything that has been going on this past week and really get my thoughts together before I responded. Um, the first thing I want to say is that I have privately apologized to the people that I have hurt and mistreated. And um, second of all, I wanted to say I'm so, so sorry for the people that watched the show that felt frustrated, angry, hurt by the way that I was mistreating people on the show. It was very immature and naive um, of me in a lot of those situations. And I just want to say that Zach, Bliss, Amber, Jackie, Micah, none of those people deserve to be treated the way that I treated them. And I'm genuinely so, so sorry. Um, truly, I want to add value to people and I want to make people feel seen. And who I was on the show was the complete exact opposite of that person. And I feel like being on the show was like getting a mirror put in front of your face in the sense of seeing yourself from a different perspective. And that opened up so, so much to me. And I'm still processing and um, going through everything that happened. Um, and I just want to say that I'm still journeying this. If journeying is a word, I'm still journeying this all of this and everything that happened and um, figuring out like the person that I want to be and that I want to move forward to be. Um, but I know that none of those things were okay. And even Zach, like he was so vulnerable with me and I so mistreated him and shut him out. And I hope that uh, one day I get to share my experience and uh, what was kind of going on with me emotionally during that experience. Um, but until then, I just appreciate you for watching this and listening to this and um, thank you. So, a couple things that, let me start by saying this, because it's going to be somebody that's going to say, at least she apologized. Wow. You know, I don't reward people. I don't applaud people for doing what they're supposed to do as a human and as an adult. Okay. So no, we're not going to applaud her for saying sorry, okay? But let's talk about a couple of things that Irina pointed out in this video. First, she said that she was naive. <sighs> Your behavior is not indicative, indicative of a person that is naive, right? So I don't know if she doesn't know what naivete means, but it doesn't mean that you're a, a, a bitch to people. It doesn't mean that you backstab people. It doesn't mean that you laugh at people's misery. It doesn't mean that you laugh at people's pain. It doesn't mean that you talk about people's looks. It doesn't, you know, that's not what, that's not what naive means, okay? So for her to say that she was naive, no ma'am. That's like, no ma'am, no, no. We're not falling for that. I, I'm not falling for that. What the rest of y'all do with it, that's on y'all. But I'm not falling for that. So then we have her saying that she wants to make people feel seen. You did that. You did that. Like, no one's saying that you didn't make anyone feel seen. You made Bliss feel seen when you, you know, got into it with her trying to take a candle from her. You made Bliss feel seen 
when you, I, I apparently they had an argument over, was it grilled cheese or something like that? You made Micah feel seen when you tried to push up on her man and that's your friend. You made Amber feel seen when you laughed at her. Point Blake laughed at her, really, in her face. You made Jackie feel seen because I think, I don't think Irina knows what making somebody feel seen mean. It's not always positive. It's not always positive because there are some moments that probably would have went untouched and we wouldn't have even really talked about had you not been sitting there laughing at these people. So that's one. Or excuse me, that's two. So you don't know what naive means. You want to make people seem, um, feel seen. Next up is, um, Lord, I don't know what I wrote. You apologize privately. Um, I will give her a a small, a small step above Micah for this because you listed out these people's names uh, one by one now. Micah didn't bother to tell us, but you listed out these people's names one by one by one, right? You're apologizing to Amber, to Paul, to, to Jackie, to Micah, to Bliss. Sure, to Zach. Um, what it makes me feel, though, is that Micah apologized last week so that this week, when we saw what Irina did to her, how, you know, she handled that situation with Irina, that we would have, like, some grace for Micah? No, not over here, not on Tammy Talks, no ma'am, no ma'am, no ma'am, no, no, none, zilch, zip, none, not a, none. So you apologize privately. Why can't you apologize publicly? You embarrass them publicly. I, I don't believe in that whole, I'm going to apologize privately. However you embarrass me is how you need to apologize. You flat out embarrassed Amber by laughing in her face. You need to apologize, Amber. I am sorry for laughing in your face when you were crying. Micah, I am sorry for trying to push up on your man, even though you do the same thing to Chelsea and Kwame, but I am sorry for trying to push up on your man. You need to give those same apologies. So then she said that she wants to take some time. Oh, she wants, she hopes that she can in the future share what emotional state and turmoil she was in while she was going, cut it, cut it. Don't, don't go with this, don't go with this mental health bull. And when I say mental health bull in this circumstance, I mean it. Don't go with that mental health bull because it's the same thing that Micah said. Now you want to take some time to figure out your feelings and sort things out? No, 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 no. You don't get to ask for grace when you were a disgusting individual. On top of the fact that Irina's, this verbal apology is almost word for word in the beginning what Micah said. Did y'all catch that? It is almost word for word, y'all, what Micah said. I don't understand Irina. I don't understand this. I don't want to hear anybody say that, oh, they're so young and blah, blah, blah. Age has nothing to do with this. Age has nothing to do with this. These have us no right from wrong. She says she's a business owner. Micah is a marketing manager. They know right from wrong. They know what they, they got enough sense to go to school and get degrees and get jobs. I don't think Irina went to school, but she has enough, you know, enough sense to, to, to run a business. What I think is happening is that, you know, I think people forget that when they go on reality TV, you go on TV like this, a show that's watched by hundreds of thousands, if not millions of people, it takes a toll on your business. Could y'all imagine if I am doing one of these videos and I say something just super, super disgusting and derogatory and the video goes viral and it has, I don't know, 200,000 views or a million views. And while I'm doing that video, I'm wearing a shirt that has my, my employer's name on there. Could you imagine how that would go? It's taking a toll on her business. You can't convince me otherwise. Nothing about this seems sincere. It looked like she was reading from a looked like she was reading from a teleprompter. Nothing about it seems seems sincere. I'm not buying it. I don't care. How about that? And before these people come into my comments saying, "Oh my God, you're so mean and blah blah blah," I don't care. I don't care, y'all. This apology was fake. The way that she behaved was disgusting. Because if Irina was truly sorry, this apology would have come 
after those ep- first episodes aired like Micah's did. Irina waited. Because let's not forget, y'all, they did the interview and it was like, that's just how we dealt with things. That's how things went. Like, it, it wasn't a big deal. But now that it might be affecting your business, oh, let me do a quick PR apology. That's what this is giving. This is giving PR apology. This is giving, I need to hurry up and save my ass. Nothing about this is sincere. They're going to light her ass up at the reunion. Call me. I will host the reunion, y'all. Call me. I will gladly host the reunion. Y'all ain't even got to fly me out first class, okay? <laughs> I'm not bougie, you know? But call me. I will host the reunion. I will light her ass up. Let me know what you guys thought about um, Irina's apology. Hop in the comment section down below. If you have not already, check out the recaps from episodes one through eight. I did a video on Micah's apology. Subscribe to the channel so that you guys are ready for this week Friday when episodes, what is it, nine, 10, and 11 come out and I will catch you guys in the comment section. Peace.